All right, shout out I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Those are the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit. And peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. And I'm back with another video. And Lord willing, it's edifying. I got a couple of scriptures for you out of the book of Luke. The first chapter, the 68 and the 69 verse, it says, Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. So this verse right here is letting us know that salvation is only for the nation of Israel. Verse 69, and he hath raised up an horn of salvation to who? The people that are, that are visited and redeemed. All right, that we that what we read about in the previous verse. The Lord God of Israel had visited and redeemed his people. His people are the Israelites. Now let me see if they're on point with a precept. They got Exodus uh, three and sixteen as a precept. I, I don't know what that says. So let me get it and just see. Because sometimes my scriptures be on point. Sometimes they be off as far as the precepts <clears throat> that they give for the different verses. Let's see. Yeah, well, I should know that scripture. I'm Salakia. That's, yeah, going into the name of the Most High. Anyway, I don't got to bring that out. Let me get back to the verse. It says, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. For he had, he had visited and redeemed his people who are the Israelites. That's why I first, I'm sorry, Matthew 1 and 21 states that they shall call his, uh, that she shall have a son. They shall call his name Yahawashai and he shall save his people from their sins. The Israelites from their sins. So back in Luke 1 and 69, it says, And he hath raised up an horn of salvation for us. Us is who? The Israelites. In the house of his servant, David. So that's saying uh, uh, that so you're going to have to be a part of the, the house of David in order to receive that salvation. Though we know all Israel be saved, it's going it's to be saved. The, the ones that's going to get the first dominion, meaning the ones that's going to rule first on this planet and not have to suffer death are the, the elect of the nation of Israel. And you're going to have to be um, in that house of David. Let's read it again. Luke 1 and 69. And he had raised up in horn of salvation. The horn of salvation is Yahweh Shai for us. In the house of his servant, David. So you're going to have to be up in that house. The house of David. The house of David is going to be uh, delivered. That's the house that's being built. And that's who the Most High. That's the house that the Most High is dealing with. He's not dealing with the whole nation. Okay. So that's the video. Lord willing, it was edifying. Until the next one. Inshallah.